let us see how to add a website on virtual main so right now if i come here under virtual main you can see we do have the default website and what i want to do now is i want to add another website once you click there on virtual main you can just click you can just click to create a virtual server that is typically a website and the website name is that so just remember that before you add a website add the a record for that website add the a record for that website on cloudflare if you're using cloudflare like me so for me i've already added the a record with the correct ip address and i've also added ww as a cname record that will enable virtual main to create ssl successfully so you can add a description if you want to admin password you can you can generate an admin password for that account administration username you can use automatic automatic is just going to take it's going to take that okay or you can use a custom custom name okay so it's probably better to just use a custom name account plan default plan that's the only one we have server configs you can set up server configs somewhere here but i haven't done any of that so i don't really mind for that advanced options here all of this we leave them as they are enable ssl all this enable all of this this ones i will also leave them as they are and then i will click on create server so let it set up everything for us so i saw something here like error 525 and i hope that that is not going to affect my website in any way so let me just come here and so this is a website we've already added the dns records so let's just go and see if it's already been set up so you can see the website has been set up we can install wordpress on it so if you want to add another website it's just like that okay on cloudflare you want to add another website just click there add a site maybe you have another site click there add the name of the site let me open this can i open this in a new tab okay i can't let me say you have an example a website like example example c dot com and then you can click there to add site and then you'll just choose the free plan and then continue and then it's going to scan for the dns records and then once it scans the records it's going to tell you that you need to go to wherever your domain is being hosted the name uh, the provider of your domain if you bought it from godaddy namecheap cloudflare is going to give you certain name servers take those name servers and then use those name servers remove the name servers that are currently on your site so this website probably doesn't exist i don't know if it exists but if it existed we wouldn't have to scan it for this long so let me just come back to the one we were working with but that's pretty much it once you do that just click there on dns once the website you've already gone to your domain provider and you've changed the name servers to what cloudflare has given you then you can come here under dns records and start adding these dns records make sure you add all the dns records as i showed you in the last video you can come under is it here under server configurations just go to your dns records and if you come to your dns records for this website you can see that these are the records you can add on the other end mail you can add a mail a record and this is going to ensure that mail is getting sent if you don't add this record mail will not get sent okay you can see it even tells you the type of record it is you can add ftp a record on the other side you can add the mail record and as an a record at the ip address and so on and so on okay spf record just come here click there add a record and as i said i was going to be using i was i was to use cloudflare for this if you want to use your own website as your own name servers it's also possible you can do that using virtual main but i'm not going to go into that now let's forget about that now we've we've set up our site now the next thing is let's see how we can install wordpress on it so i'm going to click there on install scripts you can install script you can install wordpress or you can even uh what's the word you can even import a wordpress website if you already have a site maybe you're moving you're moving to virtual main from a different place just go to your wordpress website 
and then install the duplicator plugin duplicate your website and then come into the file manager and then once you're inside of the file manager once you're inside of the file manager yeah once you're here on the public public html just upload your duplicated website and then run the installation file you know how to use the duplicator plugin if you don't just find out how and then once you run it you can move your website here i don't need to deal with that right now so the first thing i want to do here is install wordpress so if you're starting as afresh you can just click there on wordpress uh not click <laughs> you check check it and then show install options come in here and change any settings that you want to change database for the wordpress you can you can do that here you can even create a database already if you come here under under virtual main there's database edit databases you can come here under databases and you can create a new database you can delete a database if you want to create a new database completely you can create a database the username for your database is that you can change it there the password there you can you can generate a new one change the password there so if you forget any details about your your database just come there under edit database where is it there edit database make sure you select the correct website there and then you can change the wordpress details the database details so for me i really i really don't want to do anything here i don't want to change any of these details so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to come there and you can install wordpress in uh a directory in a subdirectory which is actually the recommended way in by some people but i'm going to install it under public html i will install it there let's just install our wordpress are you sure you want to install wordpress of course i want to install wordpress There we go. So our WordPress is installed. So let's just visit the front end of our site to see if WordPress is actually installed. There we go. So you see it just brought the files. It still wants us to continue with the installation ourselves. So site title, let's just call it sample. Username sample. And password sample confirm use of a weak password yes and then and then search engine visibility discourage of course if your website is live you want to encourage that just leave that unchecked and then i'm going to install wordpress now everything has already been set up like the wp config file has already been set up by virtual main so i don't really need to do anything so i can log into my site login and now we do have uh, we definitely do have an issue so if you did install your word your wordpress under a folder which is actually something that i would recommend you do you install it under folder come here under settings and then go into is it under general settings yeah here under general settings your wordpress address let's say you installed it under wp if you come here you'll find that your website is under wp and this one is probably also under wp so what you need to do is the wordpress address this is where the wordpress files will be so that make sure you remove that that's the first step and don't save it first just leave it like that don't save it first first of all go into virtual main first of all go into virtual main and before even going to virtual main i need to show you what i'm going to do to that side on that end so if i come here under hello world our post you can see Look at that we don't want this okay this is a problem that comes with nginx and we definitely don't want that so we can set that up and let's also go here under permalinks so if you come here under permalinks if you come here under permalinks okay we need to change it to that post name so if i save it to the post name you'll see that you're going to get a 404 hello world we're going to get a 404 error so if you try to go there it's going to give us a, a 404 error right that's what we want but it's giving us a 404 error 
So what I need to do is I need to go into webmin. So let's go here under webmin and we need to change something. We need to add we need to add this into our nginx configuration. So this is something that uh, you need to do, okay? So that add that into nginx configuration. Copy and I will where is it? Where do I need to go? Do we go under server? Nginx configuration. Can you see Nginx web server? Let's go there under servers Nginx web server and then edit configuration files. And then we need to choose the one for our site and we want to choose the configuration for this. And we just need to add it under this location. This is just another location on Nginx. And this is the one that's going to this is the one that's going to tell Nginx that uh, now you don't need to bring people this 404 nonsense. And that is also going to tell. So something that you need to remember, if you change the the place, the location where your files are, okay? Where was it? Settings, permalinks, not permalinks, general settings. If you change that and uh, your files are probably under, let's say they were under a folder called WP. Okay, so the site address will just remain as it is as your website. And then the website, the WordPress address will be the location with the folder of your WordPress files. So if you did change that here under this Nginx configuration here, before index.php, make sure you add WP so that Nginx can go, can know where to go. Okay. And then you will also need to copy the index.php from your file manage in your file manager. So if you know how to install WordPress in a directory, I don't need to tell you this. If you don't know, then just avoid it. But uh, just that's just something I wanted to tell you. If you install it in a subdirectory, make sure you add the subdirectory there. Mine is not installed in a subdirectory, so I'm just going to save and close. And then once I save and close, I'm going to come here and apply Nginx configuration. So try not to change any other configurations because you may mess up your site if you don't know what you're doing. So once I do that, if I try to come here, I should get a 404. But the good thing is, if I go back to my homepage, my permalinks should be working fine. And this is what you want, okay? So that's the only thing you need to do if you install WordPress. Now, if you want to add another web WordPress website, it's just that simple. Just come here under virtual main, then add a virtual server uh, create a virtual server and create the website and even before you create the website this is very important before you create the website come here under your dns and make sure that uh, <laughs> make sure that you add the dns records for the website okay if you want to use a different website you can choose the website here just click there add a site on cloudflare and once you add it add the dns records the basic dns records that you need to add when you're adding the website on virtual mean the basic records, the basic ones are the WW and the A record, the A record for that domain. Okay. Just add an A record with the IP address and a WWC name. Okay. That those are the basic ones that you need to add. As soon as you add those, you can just come here and SSL will be created. If your DNS records, your DNS records don't have WW and do not have this A record, you will not be able to create SSL. Let's encrypt is not going to work. So that's just something that I wanted to tell you. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If there's anything else that you need to change, feel free to look at the virtual main documentation. There are lots of help. There are lots of help guides from other people. There are also lots of questions and answers on the forum. And I hope this will help you. If you want to move to Nginx and PHP my admin, you can use virtual main for that. So if you want to create, if you want to install other sites, maybe Magento, Presta shop. It's just the same process. Just install. Uh, you can upload the website. I've shown you how you can edit the database. Now, maybe the next thing that you may need to do is install, is install PHP my admin so that you can import databases into your website. So if that's something that you want to do, then you can just come here. Let's say maybe you want to install uh, PHP my admin. Let's see in the next video, let's see how you can install PHP my admin. And then we see how you can manage your databases on PHP my admin. And that will be the last video in this tutorial.